This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 18, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Many of y'all don't remember, but Director Chattel told ABC News Tuesday morning that since the roof was sloped, they decided to secure the building from inside. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means, and she actually talked on this, or spoke on this, that there were three snipers inside of the building. Of course, I didn't realize that it was a two-story building behind where the Patsy was laying. Now, you might remember she admitted that there were three snipers inside the building, and I couldn't make any sense of that. I'm thinking, what? What are you talking about? At the time, I had no idea that the building was two-story and the snipers were just inside the windows. That's a perfect sniper setup, by the way. That building in particular has a slope roof at the highest point. And so you know there's a safety factor that would be considered there that we wouldn't want to put someone up on a slope roof. And so you know the decision was made to secure the building from inside. Now, how do you secure the building from inside? Well, obviously, she said there were three snipers in the building, which, of course, didn't make sense until we figured that they were on the second floor and they were stationed in the windows of the building overlooking the fairgrounds. We could tell that the Patsy was not really shot by a 50 cal where he lay or there would be blood everywhere. It looked like someone might have walked up to him and shot him with a twenty-two in the head, perhaps. Uh, that should have even made more blood than we saw in the original pictures just minutes after the shooting. But, ladies and gentlemen, I will say this. The shot was made from one of the snipers inside the second floor of that building, going, well, looking out over, over the rally from inside of that second story room via the open windows. Now, I have done a report on this, and I think you've probably seen it, but I wanted y'all to remember that she said the building was secured from the inside. She also said that they had a three-person sniper team in the building, which at the time I just could not make sense of. But finally, I have made total sense of it. The snipers were overlooking the rally from the second floor windows. They must have seen the Patsy for 30 or 40 minutes, and someone must have taken them out with something that didn't cause a large bloodshed. Because if the guy with the 50 cal behind Trump would have shot him, there would have been blood and pieces of his head. Well, there would have been no head left, period. And everyone knows that. Anyone that knows anything about ballistics knows that a shot like that, well, sometimes it'll take their whole upper torso off. Remember, she even told you there were three snipers in the building. I was like, huh? God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. And remember, she knows exactly what happened, as do y'all all now know. Please share, subscribe, and remember, it's all possible with these sociopaths in charge. Stay safe.